So today I'm going to be doing a review for Revlon's newest foundation, which is the Nearly Naked. I'm going to be using the shade 150 Nude, which is different from the shade that I use in the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, which is the 220 Natural Beige for combination oily skin. Now I've heard a lot of really good things about this foundation, and it was on sale right aid 40% uh, off, so that's why I decided to go ahead and get it. And I haven't tried it at all yet, so this is going to be like a first impressions kind of review. I did go ahead and look up what Revlon had to say about the product. Makeup so refreshingly light and melts right in creating a fresh even look. So the only person that knows that you're wearing makeup is you. Blend seamlessly buildable coverage. I'm going to go ahead and put it on. I'm not wearing any makeup right now. It just has like a little top. You just twist it off like that. There's no pump so it's just like the the color stay. You just pour it right out. I'm just going to go ahead and just use my fingers. Alright, so I'm breaking out a little bit. So I have like a little bit of redness and like some acne and stuff happening down here and along my face. So we'll see if that covers that up. So far it's feeling very light. A lot lighter than the, um, the Revlon Color Stay. It feels very liquidy. It's definitely not like a heavy liquid though. It doesn't make my face feel very cakey at all. It feels actually very moisturizing. So far it's like already taken care of a lot of the redness I'm seeing. It does feel very refreshing. Like my face feels very refreshed right now. Like I don't feel like I just put on like a mask of foundation or makeup on my face. If anything, it just feels like I put on like a light moisturizer. So, this is after one very light layer. So, I mean, you can still see like the little bit of my acne um, bump right there. But it's definitely evened out my skin tone. It's taken care of the redness, my large pores and everything. Like, it's covered them all up. And it feels incredibly light. I'm really impressed right now, actually. And I'm impressed with the coloring, too, because I was really nervous because I am a natural beige in the Color Stay Foundation. And then I looked at the natural beige and the Nearly Naked, and it was just such a drastic difference between the two. And I was just like, no, this is way too dark for me because I'm quite pale. So I chose the nude instead, and I was a little bit nervous, didn't know how that would work out, but it seems to work pretty good. Like, this looks very natural right now. It really does not look like I'm wearing any makeup. So that's very, very impressive. I think I'm just going to put on a second quick layer around here, just so I can see how it builds. It builds really great. And I can just imagine like how flawless this would look if you were using like a beauty blender or something like that. I can't comment on its staying power because I've just put it on. I'll come back and I'll let you know how the makeup fared, how it feels. I'll let you know about that in just a little bit. So it's been about 10 hours. So this is what my foundation makeup right now looks like. I actually kept the rest of my makeup very minimal just so that I could focus on the foundation. I put a little bit of blush on but it's not really on anymore like that kind of left and I have a little bit of um, eyeliner on um, or some liquid eyeliner that I put on and that's already kind of coming off but the foundation actually looks pretty good. Still covering up a lot of my redness and a lot of the bumps that I had on my face. Like my skin still looks really good 10 hours later and that's really, really impressive to me. And the thing is like my face does not feel cakey at all. Like I don't feel like I want to rush to remove all my makeup. It feels very natural even 10 hours later. My review of it would be after today. I have... I think I found like my new favorite drugstore foundation, honestly. I feel like I like it a lot more than my Revlon Color Stay. I am totally converted to this Nearly Naked foundation, which I just really love it. It won't dry you out. It won't make you feel very oily either. It does not feel like oily at all. And the price is so reasonable. I know that drugstore foundations are getting more and more expensive and I feel like this was just a very good price, a very good buy. I cannot say enough good things about this foundation and I was a little bit worried thinking that it might not have the best staying power 
um, but after seeing it after 10 hours I think it did pretty well over time I'm really really impressed I have to say and I know I keep saying that but it's true so definitely a positive review here I would definitely recommend it to everyone I feel like I'm going to use it again and again and I definitely know I'm going to repurchase this as much as I love my Revlon Colors Day I definitely feel like that I found a new replacement <laughs> if you haven't tried this yet I would definitely recommend you go out there and trying it I think you're not going to be very disappointed um, they have a large color range and you're definitely going to find your shade there and I think you're really just going to like how light feeling and natural this is on your skin. So let me know what you think about it and until next time I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!